Cause baby, you got the best of me. We are back with Journey. I was uh, I was slightly surprised that Journey was putting out music. You know, a lot of people say heritage band. Well, you got so many damn hits, you don't ever have to write new music. You just go around, you do Don't Stop Believing, you don't. You do Love and Touchings, Hug and Squeezings. Uh, you do all those songs separate ways and everything, and you just forget about it. Well, Journey has put out a brand new song called You Got the Best of Me. And uh, we do everything in the rock family here, right? Uh, I, 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 I'm not a huge fan of the soft rock, uh, but arena rock, hard rock, heavy rock, uh, uh, metal, black metal, death metal, grindcore, everything. We, we kind of do quite a bit on this channel, but as long as it stays in the rock family, uh, that's where I want to be. I don't want to be in the country family. I don't want to be in the hip hop family or the rap family. I just want to be in the rock family. So we're going to take a listen to You Got the Best of Me from Journey today. What do we do for this momentous, iconic band, right? Um, what we're going to learn about the band, and then we're going to listen to that song. Of course, they got Arnell. Pinata, Pineda, uh, as the singer now, and I think he's perfectly fine. I've seen that documentary, and I, I love that documentary where they talk about finding him and him out there, and he does a great job for Journey. Uh, usually not a fan of when the bands don't have the original singer. I would rather have the original singer and a bunch of goombas uh, than the original band and a singer. Uh, and a lot of people say, well, Shane, that's not even the real Journey anymore, man. Well, I, I know that too, but uh, let's get into it and then we'll listen to the song. Sound good? Let's go. Uh, Journey. They've got 13,594,142 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Stop this video if you know these top five Jammeronis in the number one sl slot. What do you think it is? Don't stop believing has, oh my God, one billion. 277,508,903 monthly listens on the Spotify account. Wow. Any way you want it, that comes in the second slot, 279 million plays. Separate Ways, great song, um, 152 million plays. Open Arms, that's got 171 million plays, and Faithfully... That has 182 million plays. Whew. Let's take a quick look into those albums and see what they've released all these years. And of course, all of them are going to be with Steve Perry, correct? Um, yeah, uh, just uh, 1975, they start out with the self-titled album. Then you got Look Into the Future, 1976. Oh, I guess they wouldn't have had Steve Perry for the first while there, right? That's when they got popular is when he came in. Uh, 1977 is next. Infinity, 1978. Evolution, 1979. Departure, 1980. Escape, that's the album my mother had, the 8-track that we played the hell out of at home. 1981, you got Captured. Uh, Frontiers, I love that cassette when that came out. Uh, I, I was a really young kid at the time, and I listened to Men at Work, and uh, this is before I... Uh, was turned, someone showed me the Speak of the Devil album cover, and I went, by God, what is that? Uh, you got Raised on Radio, Trial by Fire, Arrival, Live in Houston, 1981, Revelation, 2008, and Eclipse, 2011. So maybe uh, uh, Arnold has, Arnold, Arnie uh, has been on a few albums then. And then this new single, You Got the Best of Me. Um, now we're going to look into the related artists for this band, and man, this is going to be a cavalcade of, of, uh, of uh, rock gods, I'm thinking. All the rock gods are going to be there, and you've got Foreigner. you got Ario Speedwagon, Night Ranger, Boston, Heart, Survivor, which is good. I like, uh, I like me some Survivor. Not so much the Eye of the Tiger song. And you got Steve Perry, solo stuff. He did O Sherry and all that stuff. Styx, Loverboy. Triumph, great band Triumph, Billy Squire. I went down a rabbit hole of Billy Squire the other day and I was shocked at how many hits he had that I knew. And 38 Special. Hold on loosely. Uh, now we're going to look into that bio and then we're going to get into the song. And you've got an image here and it's Neil Sean and uh, what's that, Seth uh, uh, McGurkenstein on the uh, keyboards there. And then you've got Arnold saying, I can almost reach the lights, Neil. And he says, let me see what you're trying to touch up there. And he says, see, I'm, I'm almost can touch the, uh, the light bulbs there. He says, you sure can, young whippersnapper, you sure can. 
Journey is one of the most popular American rock bands of all time, creating some of the best known songs in modern music. Since the group's formation in 1973, the band has earned 19 top 40 singles and 25 gold and platinum albums and has sold nearly 100 million albums globally. Their greatest hits album is certified 15 times platinum, bringing Journey into the elite club of diamond certified award holders. The band continues to tour and record into the 21st century, performing concerts for millions of fans worldwide and receiving the prestigious Billboard Legends of Live uh, Touring Award 2018. Massive co-headlining headlining tour with Def Leppard was the band's most successful tour to date, landing them in the top 10 year-end touring charts with more than 1 million tickets sold in 2017. So there you have that. Um, the little sticker that pops up next to uh, Journey on their, on their page here, it says that they are the 348th ba band in the world. 348th in the world out of hundreds of thousands, millions of bands. They are 348. So there you have that. It is time, my friends. This is my ear wig, my earbud, my little titty buddy. And uh, I give you a taste of it. I take a taste. We listen to You Got the Best of Me from the band Journey right here, right now. Are you ready to do this? Here we go. They're letting Seth uh, Mickensburg start that one off. The more he hears the heart, the more he wants him. He's going to hit those super highs, vocal highs. It does have that kind of bridge. You know, first chorus, bridge, bridge, yeah. It's uh, years and years of figuring out how to write the perfect little packaged song. They gotta give him a bit where he goes vocal crazy there. Neil Sean Solo, always good, always fun, always tasty. Double bass in there. Breakdown.
Is he gonna go up a key? He's got a new one though. Well, you gotta do a key change and let him go even higher in his register. Oh, I wanted him to shift up one more gear and go higher. So you go, ah, that's the way you need it, any way you want it. I, don't turn that on again, damn it. Um, I like uh, Ar Arnold Pin Pineda's vocal stylings, but I, I think that was, that was a good song, but I, I wanted to hear him really go for it. You know, uh, that was the thing about Journey is that they just, the, the vocal range was what really brought all those songs to life, right? I think they could have uh, uh, not did that last little bit where they kind of broke it down and did the jump, 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 but they went one more up. You got the best of me. And then they went, they uh, key, key changed up and let him just go. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, but uh, who am I? I'm a nobody. So it doesn't really matter. And my opinion means squat diddly squat because what I like to know is what you think of the music that we do here. And today, Journey, you got the best of me. What did you think of that? Good, great, fantastic Shane. I thought it was a perfectly fantastic song. I love Arnold. I think he's great. Uh, his name's Arnell, right? Ar not Arnold. Arnell. Um, All-time favorite songs. Have you seen the band with Arnell in it? And uh, how exciting is that? Uh, all-time favorite album from Journey, all-time favorite songs. We know you can't get away from Steve Perry. He's just got one of those amazing voices. But I think this little fella does a great job. And uh, if they're putting out songs like this and they're throwing them in as uh, extras along with all the classic stuff, then I say, why not, right? Uh, all-time favorite album, all-time favorite songs. Tell me how many times you've seen them live. I'm sure there's people out there that's seen them 20, 30, 40 times. Um, have you ever met the band? Have you ever met Ar Ar Arnell? How was that for you? Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, I've never really been a Journey fan. Um, this was an okay song, but it, I'll just pile it in there with the rest of the Journey songs that I never listened to. Say, not my cup of tea, don't want it, don't need it, I'm out of here. All of that can be put in the comments below. Don't you know you find fantastic freakoids out there? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking good care of yourself, and I hope you're breathing deep and uh, getting a little walk or two in, X, some exercise. Um, if you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, and you're saying, I'd like to put in a request, it's simple and easy. Just hit one of the links in the description below, or you can put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments and I see your request and I like it, and we haven't done it on the channel before, which also a good way to do that is just put Shane Diablo and the song and band that you want to do, and it'll pop up on the YouTube if you're, if you're interested. That'll give you an idea if we've done it or not. Um, but if I see your request, we haven't done it, and it's a good one, I'll hit it with the heart and tell you I'm going to do your request, okay? You want it, you got it, you got the best of me. Mm.